Hey, Sledge, I was in your shoes last night. Doing what, sleep? Now in the back of a state trooper car. About to say, uh, huh? yo! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another great episode of Unbiased. What? This is your mama's mama's favorite podcast right here. You know, of course, I'm your host, TK. You see the hat, so you know who I'm rocking with. I can't read. You pass the ball to this side. I can't read bullshit. You can't pass it. <laughs> I'm going to pass it to this side right here. It's my man to the right. Yep. Uh, Joe, wrapping the bills. Yep. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Down one. Oh, is it me or him? It's you. That's you. You. My fault. I apologize. That's my fault. Let me let let this host host. Detective you. (laughs) 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 Sled, Dolphins fan, Super Bowl bound. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kenny. Florida State. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't, Don't do that. that. You, like, you know that. <laughs> like the players. Kenny, Florida State. Yeah, you Broncos know country. That's right. <laughs> yep. Denver Broncos. Let's ride. Broncos That's country. right. <laughs> they are not <laughs> riding. I know we haven't. Yeah. It's, we've, been, we've been stalling. We're, we're stalled right now. All right. Well, you know. I like how you start off in, you know, your new show. You know, start out the hood movie review. And you started off with a quote, right? So today I'm going to start this episode off with a quote. This quote is from Eddie Robinson, the coach at Bama, Alabama State. He said, and this quote was about Deion Sanders. He said, he ain't swack. I'm swack. So, you know, if we're talking about Denver, Colorado, let's ride. And you see Deion took a ride all the way to Colorado to become the new head coach. Mm-hmm. How do you feel that looks for his terms of helping develop the HBCUs? And what does that say about Dion? Never seen an HBCU on nothing but BET until Dion came. And now we're not about to see them on nothing but BET. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing, well, the thing about that is, like, some people are trying to call him, call him a sellout or whatever it is, but... No, I'm not going to... I feel like... What's like, a I feel like he. I feel like he made he made the the HBCU like they, they made, he made the awareness to it like he was the reason why they're even talked about. So he made them so, relevant again. Yeah, he, was, yeah, he literally he literally made them relevant. So there's no there's literally it's like what else do you need me to do? It's like it's like, it's like I brought the words I could. First of all, it ain't like he just was one and done there too. He was there for like three years, if I'm not mistaken, bro. Yeah. Like three years. He was there for like three years, and then the COVID, I think because he got hired during the COVID year, they couldn't play football because of the COVID. So, like, you were there for a little ample time. You put HBCUs back on the map. And let's be real. You're doing what you're doing what all coaches fucking do when they have exceeded every expectation. You move on. Understandable. You move on. And, and that's a quote that uh, Prime had for us. Prime said, in coaching, you either get elevated or you get terminated. I understand. I don't think he was going to get terminated from Jackson State with all the awareness and everything that he did good for them. He put money from his pockets into their program to help build them up. He also took away a lot of kids from big-time opportunities. And, you know, hindsight, he took Travis Hunter, the number one prospect in the nation last year, and got him to go to Jackson State to try to change the narrative of the story. But now Deion's leaving him. So do you think Travis Hunter follows him? Does he stay there or does he go somewhere else now? You, Travis Hunter, if I'm smart enough, I'm in that transfer portal. Portal, sorry. So, are you going to Co- Colorado or are you going somewhere else now? It all depends on what my relationship is with this man that told me to come here. To be honest yeah. with you, that's your relationship. I mean, he, the man that told you to come here, he sold you on a dream and a vision to come to this school to make a path for yourself. Just a one year leave. So, here's my question: Is Travis Hunter a starter? He, I, he was the number one player in the nation. You don't think he's starting there? Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, 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 I'm just saying, like, if, if I'm the number one player in the nation, then I can go to Colorado and start. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I understand that. I understand that. So then, another, my, like, another question I have then, do you think Dion, like, okay, I know Dion's name carries weight. I know, like, he's going to get players to come there. He's going to get players to come there. But do you think that culture fit is correct for Dion? Colorado? How, yeah, from Jackson State, Mississippi, with a HBCU, which, you know, a bunch of great athletes there's, and stuff like there's that. More, you know, there's more. There's more. 
there's more there's more screen time in Colorado than there is in Jackson State. There's more than Jackson State. There is also more better players in Colorado than in Jackson State. So if prime I time don't agree. Good, you don't agree? I don't agree with that. I, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like all I'm saying is I know two guys from Columbus, Ohio that went to Colorado, not Colorado State. I said I'm in Colorado, but I knew two guys from Columbus, Ohio that went to Colorado and they would have what they and they started at Colorado and they did great. Mm -hmm. What they would have did at Jackson State probably would have been like Hall of Fame where like hey, one of the greatest out of Jackson State. Because the level of competition. Understand yes. that. But I'm saying, okay, so I'm just saying from Dion, like from a Dion, everybody knows Dion. Everybody knows what Dion stands for. You see what he bought to Jackson State. You see the culture he bought, the swag there. Do you think that Colorado is capable of having that type of swag or able to have somebody like Dion lead that program? I think so because Colorado already has a lot of niggas there. Um, <laughs> they just have, they just got you know they just got white coaches. Now that I got a whole bunch of black coaches, and, and you know I got I got some culture in there. Maybe this is what Colorado needs to be aware, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, what's the majority of the people that's in these schools that's playing on these football teams? Fact. So Fact understandable. So that's how that's how I would play it off. So what does this mean for Jackson State though? Now, do you think Jackson State takes a? Oh, they're done. Goes back down <laughs> here and goes back into the shadows. They're done. About to they're say, done. you want to know why I feel like they're done? Because Dion accepting that job, he also took his son with him. His son this year, Shador Sanders, his final stats for the season, he had a 70.3 completion ratio, 3,368 passing yards, 41 total touchdowns, six interceptions, and led them to an 11-0 record. And now he's on his way to Colorado with his father. So, Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> and, and let's be real. And this is the part of the game that happened. And I hate to say it, but this is a part of the game. We've all played this game before. This is a part of the game. Trevor Lawrence didn't go fucking transfer. Would Trevor Lawrence be playing for the Jaguars now? First round draft pick? Trevor Lawrence didn't need to transfer. The nigga walked in starting at Clemson. Didn't he play for Ohio State? Trevor Lawrence? You're thinking yeah. of Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, my bad. Okay, go ahead. My bad. My By bad, the way, bad, that's Tim bad. Tim and DeMar. We never we never introduced them. Well, you see what Tim got on. He's a Colts fan. And uh, DeMar. I'm a on. Cowboys fan. What you talking about? I'm a Cowboys fan. No. What's your hoodie say? Tear Matt Ryan apart. He stole that off somebody. Show me your hoodie. <laughs> like the black that he is. <laughs> Show me your hoodie. Show me your face. Show oh, me you your face. Go. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Well, since you know you said you're a Cowboys fan or you're a Colts fan, I'm a Cowboys fan, sir. Oh, okay. Well, it would have been a good thing if you was a Colts fan because y'all have the uh, NFL's <laughs> highest <laughs> attendance leader rating this year with 104.6%. I know they have oh, you that, know, you know, why, why do you know that? Why do I know that? Yeah, oh, I'm just a fan of football, okay, uh, understandable. Are you? But you're not a fan of that team because they got us. They got a great attendance rate to just be losing all those games. I got a question no, about that. I'm, I'm, I'm how, all for the tanking. How do you get over a hundred percent, bro? Can y'all hear me? I, I don't understand that. People that be stealing, people no. be stealing, bro. Up there, like, bro. First of all, when you go up there, people be really stealing seats. Like, who's in like the first row, bro? Why was there a whole group of people like trying to steal seats in the first row? Like the security had to come and kick them out. Like, bro, maybe, bro, and then they tailgate, bro. If, hey, that's a, if, hey, if you can go to a Lucas Oil football game, go. That stadium is live. Like, it's live. They got a whole band there and everything is live. You know. Why are you so soft? Why are you at that nigga's neck, TK? He said, mm. I just asked the question. All I did was ask the question. I'm not at his neck, you know. Um, look, man. Like, look, bro. man. I'm, you know, I, I don't like what they're doing over there. <laughs> you don't like what they're hey. doing over there. Hey, I didn't like what, what what my organization was doing for decades, and now look at us, bro. Hey, Sledge, I'm still a Colts fan. I'm being funny. You know, I'm still a Colts fan. <laughs> hey. So, 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 do you know who doesn't like what they're doing over there? Some of Russell's teammates, because <laughs> Russell had a birthday party. He had a birthday party, have to and it said <laughs> half, have about to half the show team that. showed up. So I don't know if y'all seen the movie Draft Day. Mm. But there was a big part of the movie in draft day where the quarterback, he was he was supposed to be a you know a, I think his name was Bo something. It was Bo. 
Bow something, I forget. About to say, but he was supposed to be, you know, the number one pick. He was supposed to be a big guy and all that, you know, a program, a culture changer, program changer for the league and everything. And he had a birthday party, and a big sticker point in the movie was half the team only came to his birthday party as the quarterback. Is that an issue? Is the team not behind you? Bo Callahan. Bo Callahan. That's what I'm talking about, man. You can't think about it. Also, birthday parties is personal. Like, for example, like, you can invite me to your birthday party, but if I ain't really close to you, even I don't go to birthday parties to people I'm close with sometimes. If I ain't close to you and invite me to your birthday party, I probably ain't coming. I'm just being honest. Even if you invite me, I don't mess with you like that, you know? So even if you was Russell Wilson Center on the football team, this man put his hands under your ass every day. <laughs> right, you wouldn't attend his party. Be oh, I'm sorry, you have children in the car. He puts his hand under your glutes oh. every day. <laughs> you would have been the man's birthday party to show support to the man that's supposed to help y'all get over the hump and y'all supposed to ride together. Yeah, but what is he I'm doing? Like, that's ride, but so nobody got the minivan with him. I think, I think, I think right. we're reaching here. Like, you, I mean, you really hey. don't know, like, how to relationship oh, is. I think, I think that's a reach. I mean, hey, Kenny, you, you never know what that man had to do. That man could have hey, hold, hold on. I think it's a they reach. They can't hear say, like, there's a bad relationship between them. Who can't hear us? Somebody in the chat said they can't hear us. That was Demond. Yeah, that's Demond. Oh, he's not even here anymore. Him. <laughs> Screw him. All right, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. My man. I thought it was a viewer. So, isn't Russell Wilson's birthday also the weekend of Thanksgiving? <laughs> ah, ah. Well, well, see, I don't know when a man's birthday is. I don't ride with him like, either. For real, like that. Saying, like, so. You can have stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I mean, if, be real. if it's Thanksgiving but, weekend, most of these NFL players live like you know all over. <laughs> So, like, especially with their family. So, if they're going to visit someone for the weekend, then, you know, they're gonna not going to travel all the way to Russell Wilson's birthday, even if he is a quarterback. But, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's why I want to hang out with Dangerous Russ. I was about to say, let's be real. Even if they was winning, nobody wanted to hang out with Russell. Like, he's a <laughs> he's weird. Let's be real. Like, he's like, like nobody dude. really... Nobody really wants to say, hey, we're going over Russell's house tonight. No, nigga, we might die. <laughs> we're going like, to Russell's house tonight. I mean, I feel like the only motivation to go to Russell's house is to go look at Sierra. And I don't wow. even really want to do that unless wow. you dance. See, all right, all right. So then, Tim, I'm glad you said that. The only reason why you would go to Russell's house is to look at Sierra, right? Kind of, yeah. Is that the only reason why Antonio Brown went over to Tom Brady's house? Mm. To look at... Um, <laughs> that is that? ridiculous. 100%. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> No, what, is what, hold on. what Antonio Brown is doing is completely outrageous, uncalled for, and disrespectful. And Tom Brady does not deserve that because Tom Brady took this man in not once, not twice, but three times. He took this man into his house three times. Well, at the end of the day. Hey, hey, but you want to know, you want to know something since he took him into his house three times. I feel like that maybe Tom didn't want him in the house, maybe Giselle wanted him there. Maybe man, Tom's no, a cock and he wanted no, him there for that. No, 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 man. Shout out to Organic Baby. What? You and your partner or partners deserve <laughs> nothing but the best. Uh -huh. <laughs> first of all, if, first of all, uh -huh. he wanted to treat her. The man in the house, that man ain't coming just for the fact she want him in the house. He jumped up, put his booty in his the booty in her face. That's that's what he did. First thing. That's where it first started all, at. But here's yeah, that's where it started. She said, bring your bag of dick with you. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't. I don't. I don't think nothing happened between them. I think A A B is trolling, and he's also trying to raise money for his little charity. And like that whole T-shirt thing, that was him raising money for a charity, and he just took like he used Tom Brady's pain to raise some money. Well, so now I hear Antonio Brown is raising money for bail because he had a warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> About to say he had a warrant out for his arrest where he got in a standoff with the police and they said he had weapons inside of his home. Now I'm don't I don't I don't I don't feel like it was newsworthy to say that the man has weapons inside of his home because I feel like you, we don't anybody know. with a kitchen has weapons inside their home. But you feel me? Anybody with a kitchen has weapons inside their home. So I just feel like they made it a little bit more than it was. They was reaching for a bigger story, but I do feel like Antonio Brown may need a little bit of treatment. And I'm not talking about to his ankle. You said a little. Um, okay. Yeah, a lot of. A little bit. He's crazy. I'm gonna say, a lot. <laughs> he's crazy. Nigga, <laughs> you know where the fuck he's we are. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's wild. All right, all right. Speaking of wild, then right, I'm gonna get y'all with this start bench cut right quick because I seen a wild one that didn't really make too much sense to me, but I want to see what y'all think about it. Start bench cut. Lamar Jackson, Andrew Luck, Michael Vick. Ooh. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> what? Oh, I'll go first. That's what I seen, and I like it. And I was like, it don't make no sense. But start I'm bench a, cut. I'm gonna start, and like, if this is if like we know. in their prime, we don't, you know, we don't know the future. we know. We know. I'm gonna start Andrew Luck. Oh I'm my god! And I'm gonna. <laughs> oh my god! That is wild. Oh my god! That is wild. That is not wild. That's not wild at all. Think about what he just said, though. He said, "He said I'm going to." He said, "We don't know their future, nigga. You know all of his future. <laughs> I do know all their future. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, say, okay, we're looking at, if we're just looking at them playing. We've seen their prime. We've seen them, you know." If we're just there's looking no at way. them playing, there, and we don't, and we, no I, honestly, when they're looking at them, when they're watching Tim, them play, they don't know their future. It's like, okay, Tim, there's no try? way on God's green earth. There's no way on God's green earth you're you're picking Andrew Luck over Lamar fucking Jackson. I think you better check the stats. Lamar is better than Andrew. I mean, Andrew Luck is better than Lamar at just about. That's why TK's here. Because it's called unbiased. I'm not being biased. I Andrew Luck. I, I was just. You mm. said what? <laughs> you see the big ass line. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Did you see what he did to our team? Did to our team? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw what he did to your team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's just no way you're going to say Andrew Luck is my guy over Lamar Jackson. There's just no way. Andrew Luck is by far better than Lamar Jackson at passing, and he makes smarter decisions running. Lamar is pure athleticism. Uh, with running, okay. and he's a you know way better passer than Lamar. Let me ask you a question, Tim. You know what you sound like? A damn Colts fan. Uh, you know, okay, well, I wouldn't like media. Not Colts fans agree with this. This is a social media trend. Not just most people started Andrew Luck. My question to you is: You said Andrew Luck makes smarter decisions running than Lamar Jackson. Oh, absolutely, he does. He runs too. He runs too. He I forget Andrew Luck was not in the league, league anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in the league anymore because we didn't have a line. He was getting, he was taking forty hits a game. So, Lamar where does him awesome. being smarter <laughs> at protecting himself come into play then? Thank you. I mean, I I, I can't say that because you got to remember Andrew Luck was hurt the year he got hurt. He was already hurt playing. The year he got hurt, he was already hurt. But but he's a smart decision maker. I'm about to say, but he's a better decision maker. It's just not real. This is not going to work for me. I, I don't um, think this. <laughs> I'm talking about decision making as in playing football. As in, this is the right play to do. He Tim. decided to not play football Tim. though. Tim. Tim. That, that was the smartest decision that he could make was to retire from the coach. Tim. Tim. Very I randomly mean, too. Very, Tim, very what randomly. randomly. And and what did y'all do after that man put his body on the? The man had a punctured lung for you. They gave him a hundred million dollars. And y'all booty. And y'all booty. <laughs> and he got a hundred million dollars. Hey, and we paid him a hundred million dollars that he didn't you know, have to pay back. He said, "Man, he said I gave my heart to this team. Look, I remember. I remember after one of the games he had. I think they said his rib was like damn near sticking through his side of his body. Like oh, oh, wow. you can see the rig and balls in the side. And he was sitting there. He could barely talk." You know, flew it all in his lungs, most likely. You know, couldn't couldn't talk, but he went to the interview and he said, I got to be better. I got to be better. And after he got hit 12 times in that game, he decided he had to be better. And y'all booed him and, and, for retiring and, him. I, the thing is, what happened with the boo, uh, I'm not defending close fans because that was really disrespectful. And, you know, the thing is, it was just too sudden and randomly. And then Andrew Luck led the team on for an entire offseason season. And going into preseason, and he was going to lead them on the entire season to make money for the coach. Urse was behind that. I don't think Lux was behind that. I think Urse was behind that. You got to think. You got to think all the season ticket holders that can't get their money back and have just paid thousands to go see the coach. You got to think of like Tim. the team we had. You got to think of the team we had also Tim. going to that league. Like we were favored. <laughs> we were favored. You got to think. Tim, Tim, <laughs> I love this passion. I love it. But Tim, if you got season tickets. You don't have season tickets just for Andrew fucking love. <laughs> you have season. <laughs> you have That's season not necessarily true. That's not necessarily fan. true. Because when they no, call me stop. every year, when they call me every year, I'll be thinking about it. I'm like, man, I can pay this two thousand and go to just about every little game. No, no, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Because I know, I know a guy that got season tickets for his team right now. He's on my right. <laughs> he oh, two grand is a lot, man. <laughs> I said I what? Said, 
I sit in the club section for the bills and I pay four fifty. You pay four fifty? How you do that? Uh, That's how much they are. You know. Huh? That's just how much they are. You know. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah you definitely know somebody though, because when they you called know, my phone, they, they said it was two K. Two K. And that was just That's you know insane. Why? You know why? Because they really don't want your kind there. That's why. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, cause like look, what's up? Oh, actually, actually, my, my, my fault. Tim, Tim still got finished his star set cut. There's I no, did. Uh, Andrew Luck, Sitting Lamar. I'm cutting Vic. <laughs> cutting Vic. Why are you cutting Vic? Why are you cutting Vic? Though? Why am I cutting Vic? Because Vic wasn't yeah. better than either of them. Like we got to get Vic was our favorite growing up. Okay. Okay. Never okay. Seen okay. Like okay. Vic. I, okay, but I gotta get you, I'm biased. It's unbiased. You feel me? Okay, I, gotta okay. as long as you, uh, I love Vic. I love Vic, but I mean, he's okay. not better than yeah, Andrew Luck or Lamar. He gotta okay. go. And I, you know what? Out of all the shit that you just said for the past 10 minutes, I, this is the only thing I respect. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. Not real talk, bro. You're my guy. I love you to death. I said, but I respect this because I gotta cut Vic too. <laughs> but Who's starting. Come on, man. I'm starting Lamar Jackson. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just starting. Let me tell you why I'm going to start Lamar Jackson. Because Lamar Jackson, if as a, I play foot, I coach football. As a coach, I'm looking at the one that can give us the best look at everything we do. Did Andrew Luck not take a team to the? Hear me out. I'll, I'll let you talk. Hold on, time out. Did he not take a team to the <laughs> with a walk up Reggie Wayne and a rookie T.Y. Hillen? Okay, so listen, listen, listen. Listen, I will never take. Oh no, he went a rookie or sophomore. It was a second can, year. Can I? Can I talk? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I will, listen, think, what dog? you're saying? No, no, no. What you're saying is 100 percent right. Worst mind in the league, by the way. Chip Richardson in the back. No run game. No run game. <laughs> I let him talk. Get <laughs> I'm gonna let you talk. <laughs> All right. So listen. Let, let, let's not act like. Let him spoons. <laughs> what we're not going to do is act like T.Y. Hilton wasn't going to be good. And we're not going to act like Reggie Wayne still wasn't catching footballs. And we're not going to act like y'all didn't have a decent defense either. So we're not going to do that. Mm. Ooh, that's debatable. That's debatable. We can debate that later, though. I don't want to okay. get more no, Okay. Tim, you used to argue for that. You used to argue they had a good defense. And yeah, good yeah, all, all and that no, I'm and talking no, no. about and, back. And, I'm talking about when they went to the NFC Championship. And Kitty, that's where I got it, that Kitty, that I got it from. I got it from the Colts fan. I'm just doing what the Colts fan He told us that then. You, you literally, literally, I think the only person we had on our defense that was a star player. Oh, we had uh, Davis too. Uh, okay, so Davis. Did you have and Robert Mathis? The white Freeney. Um, yeah, oh. No, we did not have the. We had Robert Mathis. We did not have Dwight Freeney. We had Robert Mathis. Oh. Um, so you had a. So you had a Hall of Fame defensive tackle. He was. Oh, <laughs> he's not a defensive tackle. He's a defensive end and a linebacker. He's a linebacker at that time, by the way. And also, he was old. He retired like a season after or two seasons after. Define. Define. Oh. He was old. He was old and like, slow. Like like James Harrison still going to the Super Bowl, or like or, he was not like, a James Harrison or, at that time. Or or maybe how about Jerry Rice taking the kid people to the Super Bowl? Oh. No, he was not. <laughs> he was old. I mean, I take it. I can't take that back because Robert Mathis retired good. He retired still a good player. Okay. Okay. So so, so now, but he so wasn't the same was Robert Mathis. You know what I'm saying? That's so, like so, saying when Ray retired. Ray retired still a good player, but he was not the same okay. Ray Lewis. But nobody's ever going to say an old Ray Lewis, though. Nobody's okay. ever going to say that. So huh? back to the subject. We're going to go ahead and get the Joe. Start, sit, cut. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, Andrew Luck, Michael Vick. By the way, just for the record, I still didn't get to talk. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Don't attack me. But An- no, Andrew Luck's no, 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 no. definitely getting cut. But I, oh. I would, I would start Lamar and I would sit oh, Mike well, Vick be. so that Mike Vick can mentor Lamar. Oh, that's wow, a that great, that, that's that a great, great answer. No, I'm gonna also go the same way. My reason for that, me going the same way. Um, you have Lamar Jackson, MVP. You have Michael Vick, MVP. <laughs> then you have Andrew Luck, Pro Bowler, <laughs> comeback player of the year. He was a great generational talent at quarterback that helped the coach out for three years. About three that years. When, when you put it like that, though, it makes sense. Yeah, for like eight years, but okay. But but he had about three good ones, though, right? Or four good ones? No, every year was good. Even the year he got hurt was good. He just got hurt. So how, many how many years was he hurt good. there, though? Huh? Was how many years was he hurt there total? Two. So out of so eight years, 
He had six six good ones there. <laughs> no, because the year he got hurt, he's still good. He's still due for 1,800 yards, I think, like 20 something touchdowns. All right, so tw 20 something touchdowns. 20 something touchdowns. That's a lot. Right, yeah, okay, that doesn't sound. All right, so my thing <laughs> is the generational talent of Andrew Luck that was supposed to be the man had six good seasons there, correct? And not one MVP. Uh -oh. I mean, but you got to look at all the times he could have won it. Uh -oh. <laughs> you got to look at he all the times he could have won it. He came in second many times. You got to oh. the year, the year, the year Patrick Mahomes won it. Andrew Luck threw for 40 touchdowns, almost 5,000 yards. Patrick Mahomes just threw for 40 touchdowns and 5,000 yards. He was so right was there. that his last year? Yeah, that was his last year. Okay, I just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify that because I didn't know. So I knew he wasn't in the league too long with Pat. Yeah, he about won. To he say, back, and that's when but, he got comeback player of the year. But I mean, on, if Patrick okay. Mahomes didn't do that, I mean, who was unanimous <coughs> MVP? Unanimous? <coughs> yeah. uh, I want to say against Aaron Rodgers, he was like, I think it was a year Aaron Rodgers won it. I'm not sure of the year, but I think he was like right behind Aaron Rodgers too. And then you got, and then his rookie year, his rookie year, you had uh, Robert Griffin. Robert Griffin was on a tear. It was difficult. They were like, okay, this, this rookie class is quarterback is amazing. Hey, why do we? Why do we give that man so much credit? He wasn't as good. Who? His Robert, rookie year. Robert was good. His rookie year, Washington Robert Griffin him. hit I, the league I, I, on notice. I start Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, before oh, yeah. we even get to that, okay, yeah. Kenny starts it. Yeah. <laughs> Lamar <laughs> Jackson, Andrew Luck, <laughs> Michael Vick. So I'm starting Lamar, sitting Vick, and cutting the white man. Mm, sorry, Joe. About to say, um, well, he well he he was cutting the white man too. <laughs> I know, I know, man. He's he, 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 he he only we know he's only on here right now. I, I never made it in the NFL either. Hey, so, <laughs> oh yeah, I had a terrible. Hey, my career. phone died. Y'all got to chill on me for a little bit. Thank God. <laughs> we'll talk more shit about luck. Where you at? Hey, Where you, you at? know what? Since we thanking God right now, Deshaun Watson is set to make his return today. Do you think Why, that wait, when he scores no, a touchdown, no, do you think no, he's... No, 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 I feel like no. if he scores, I know he needs to be... No, can if he scores, he needs to be a massage therapist waiting on him. Waiting on no, him. Can, can I talk? Move him down. Can I talk? I, I feel like someone... No, you can't. I feel like if he does score, I'm going to say this. I feel like if he does score, somebody should come behind him and just rub his shoulders right quick. like, yeah, man, you got it, champ. You got it, champ. Go ahead. If they do that, if they do that. The only thing about that is if he does that, aren't the victims going to be in the stands? Yeah, the victims are there sitting together. I was trying to understand that as well. I didn't really want to do that part on Unbiased today because I don't know how this is going to go. That's not okay. But what do you think... Like, what message are they trying to send that, the victims? They're trying really to say, we're, to not, say? we're not scared of you. We stand up again. Like, we stand up. Like, and like, you, you know, want to know what I know? You know what? I'm not going to tell you. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, that's what they're trying it. to get across. They're trying to say, 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 we're not scared of you. We're looking, we're, we're looking our uh, victim, not the victim, we're looking at our attacker in the face. That's what that's what they're trying to say. TK, say it, say it, TK, because this is your show. Because I know what you're going to say. Say it. What am I gonna say, Sledge? They, they there for the a nigga. check. They there for a check, and they're trying to hang the nigga. And the, I feel like I feel like they there trying to get chose by someone else. You know, they want someone. All I'm saying to, is, all I'm saying they want is they to have, feel bad for they, them or feel sympathy have, for them, and like, hey, they didn't you have know, Ben Rappers and rapist accusers oh. at their games. Mm. That's different. He was in the bathroom. That ain't different. Mm. That's different. he really did it. He really did. Something. <laughs> yeah, no sense. I was like, that was that's what I said. That was different. Like he, he oh, did that was that different shit. though. What I did, you <laughs> choked me and smoked up that yard. Hey, yeah. Slid, he did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he did that shit. Like, but they point, and, and I, I feel like, and I and I feel like not to be pro black or anything, but I feel like they only do that to people like us. I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> hey. Like, I, who am I, I understand you? what you're saying. <laughs> I feel like yeah. if they do some massage references, a touchdown celebration, there's going to be people storming the field. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'll be wild. <laughs> you said they're going to storm the field? You know, yeah, there's, but... there's people jumping. I would hope that security is on guard today because oh, they don't have to play their ass off. I mean, why are we talking about it? Did any of y'all actually watch the trial and read the stuff? Bro, he just. I don't think Lamar. I, don't, I was about to honestly, say I don't think I'm he. Ninety percent of those I don't think he but, did. 
The second, oh, I the, agree. The, the Texas owner, the Texas owner, I know for a fact he didn't do nothing with that. The girl related to the Texas owner, I know he didn't touch the first girl. Uh, the third girl, I know he didn't touch. The second girl is the only one I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this one. Here's the thing. Here's but the thing. All though. the other 22 copycats, I'm writing people, them off. People just read headlines. Okay. So. <laughs> first off, that's a lot. But yeah. second, second, <laughs> right, second off, second off, if you do one, it's still right. He, it is bad. No, I didn't say he did it. I'm just like, ooh, enough. wait a minute. And the only reason I say, ooh, wait a minute, is because when they're right asking there. the question, like when they're asking the question, like easily, like, no, I didn't do it. Da, 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 da. And then it was when they asked him a question and then he, he hesitated on like one. And then okay, they asked him about uh driving a certain amount of mileage for a Excellent. for a massage and going to somebody's house. Like, you know, because like you don't think that's kind of odd. And the way he hesitated and like had to think, and it was, it was like, wait a minute, hold on. There might be like some behind this one. Now the other one, put, put, I, like I like, there was like, there was you can like, you know, you, you can kind of tell when someone's like being honest, unless he's just a great liar. Like there was like, it was like no way. I think like no, he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't like he didn't contradict himself. His stories were straight. Uh, he was like he was straightforward. Everything. I, I'm not defending him because if he did it, he did it. He's a bad guy. But I don't think I don't think he did it to the second girl. I mean, he to did the, at least uh, one of them. Is what you say? He did at least one. Know. Right. Look, for I, all think I think there's some, I think something did happen with the second girl. But the end of the day is also she is part to blame for that because she went in that massage knowing Whoa. what it was. Yeah, that's a wild statement. What? <laughs> it's something yeah, because also, when I'm saying, man, why, why I'm saying that is, why I'm saying that is, because it wasn't her first massage with him. It was her second massage with him. Uh, Understand? You don't read, you don't read books or text somebody after they did something to you, and that's Correct. what I'm saying. Okay. You Correct. Okay. After they did something, right. you don't read book with them and text them and keep keep communication, uh, keep you, communication you, with them. Maybe she thought it was right. going to be something more. No, and no, that's no, you all right. Right. Didn't but want if that. He did something, if he did something against her will, he is completely wrong against that. But again, I that's why I'm saying there might be something there with that. I'm not saying he did it, I'm not saying he didn't do it. But I think with the second girl, there was something there. You want to know what his problem was, in my opinion? He didn't have enough rays in him. I feel like <laughs> nah, nah, my he had enough energy. He had enough energy. I feel like he gave her a little bit. I feel I feel like he tipped her too well. You know, he gave her more than 20% of his tip. Or of the tip, you know, like at the end of the day, I feel hey, like hey, uh, no, nah. hey. but no, nah, hey, but it is no, odd to drive that. basically to another <laughs> state for a massage. First, that is look, very first odd. of all, first of to all, me, I guarantee you, right now, if he drove that far, she knew what it was. That's at what the I'm saying. She knew day, so, she how knew many so, times think, we made it? I think she thought it was going to be more, and it wasn't more. I think that's the situation. I made a trip last night. You guys, <laughs> it was it, it was out of my control. But it was not like, related to <laughs> I, but the thing is, when you make a trip, you <laughs> and the other party both know what's going to happen. I, I, I agree not here for, for the most part, but, like like, but again, I don't. I wasn't there, <laughs> so I really, I don't feel like I can correctly speak on this. But this is just from what I observed. I watched the case. I read the. I read the. Nigga, you're married. Now. I watched the video. So like, that's what I, from what I, you said, I'm married. You better not speak. On, you better not speak on this. <laughs> I, my wife is right here, right, baby. <laughs> well, you know what we did see and what we could assume on? Antonio Cromartie's career. So, you know, a few episodes ago, I just told you that he officially retired. I want to read you some of his stats, and I got a question for you. I have a question like this every week. He played 11 total seasons, 162 games. He led the league with interceptions with 10 interceptions in 2007. He had 417 tackles, six tackles for loss, 117 pass deflections, 31 total interceptions, two forced fumbles, five fumble recoveries, six total touchdowns. He's a four-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, eight years in a row of three-plus interceptions, and he has the NFL record of a 109.7-yard field goal return. Bro was balling Do you out. You think that Antonio Cromartie belongs in the Hall of Fame? Bro, he's ball. He was balling out. Bro. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like he should. <laughs> from what I'm hearing, hey, bro was balling out. Hey, listen, when you when your rap sheet is long, when your rap sheet is is, is a whole page double font. When I gotta read that much, yeah, bro, yeah, you, you, you out here, bro. I was, a, I was always a fan of him anyway. So yeah, you know where he came from too, the greatest university out there. You know, yes, sir. Yes, Alabama, sir. Leo, Ohio State. No, Florida State University. You know where where uh, Coach Prime went. You know the GOAT. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Look out for him to come back to Florida State in a few years if Mike Norville mess up. That's my cousin too, Norville. Norville. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be yeah. nice. Though. That'd be a nice little like that nice little circle back if you do that. That would if be great. To, if he went back to Florida State, nobody would even care right now. Like how like how people are caring about how they he wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. Deion Sanders we went to Florida State. No, no, no. Now he's saying they wouldn't him. care like him going to Colorado, him going to Florida State, it make more sense. He's going back to his alma mater, where it all started for him well, and everything. Well, hey, Anywhere he, he, he goes, it's going to be a big deal. It's Deion Sanders. It's going to be a big deal, but I'm saying like <laughs> him leaving Jackson State to go to Florida State, I feel like will be a – They wouldn't be complaining and calling him a You know, oh, yeah, if he – him going to Colorado, it's like, damn, you going to this random-ass program that, you know, him going to Florida State, you going back home. But all right, let me um damn boy, do I got that one in here still? Cause I wanted uh I wanted to compare something right quick. Let me find it. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Damn, I hated that song in a minute. Hey, so let me ask y'all something then. What draft class do you think is better on paper? So this is the 2014 wide receiver draft class. Wait, 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 wait. So this, this is the draft class by names. Who do you think sounds better as a collective on paper from the class? I'm saying, I'm saying, are we judging them like as college players coming in, like, oh man, this guy's gonna be good, or are we judging them as what, what we saw the whole career play out as? We're gonna see as their career. So I guess the one isn't gonna be fair because they're young players, but they're emerging players still. You still know these yeah. names. These names is on, you know, coming out. But the other players, we know what they are now because they came out years before. But as a collective, we're just gonna sit here and say which class do we think is better, and then I want to hear your top three. The top three receivers from both lists. Damn, Flag. Open up a bag of bugles. All right. Got yeah. that? <laughs> All right, so this is the 2014 NFL wide receiver draft class. You have Sammy Watkins, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham. You know I like Mike Evans and Odell. Brandon Cook. Why? Why? Listen. <laughs> I tell you, that week on Madden, that nigga was going yeah. crazy for me. <laughs> I say doing? Brandon Cooks, Devontae Adams. I like this class, though. Allen Robinson and Jarvis Landry. That's a nasty class. That's the 2014 NFL wide receiver draft class. I so ain't gonna be okay. I ain't, I ain't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost on half of the people you just said. There's just so many names. But keep going. <laughs> all right, so give me – all right, so from that class, Kenny, give me your top three receivers off that list. Top three, I'm you going to – You need me to read the list of you again? Yeah, read it one more time. Read, 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 read it one more time. I got you. Let me get back to it because I just moved off. I got you. You have Sammy Watkins, mm -hmm. Mike Evans, Odell Beckham, Brandon Cooks. Odell well, showing Brandon Cooks to Sammy Watkins. Devontae Adams, Allen Robinson, Jarvis Landry. That's the 2014 NFL wide receiver draft class. Who's your top three off of that list? I'm going – in no order, I'm going Mike Evans, Odell, Devontae Adams. That's what I'm going with. Joe? That was identical for me. Um, I feel like Jarvis Landry's up there, but – but He slept I, on. Yeah, I, well, he's, I, he's I, I would say – he's, like, he's more hurt I, than slept on. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I oh, that was more hurt to Mike Evans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sammy Watkins would be good if he wasn't breaking his bones just from getting sneezed on, but mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, yeah, I forgot Sam, Sammy Watkins started in Buffalo. He did. It's he crazy did. how Sammy Watkins is glad he's a, gone. He's had a long, <laughs> long glad he's year, gone. whatever. Good riddance. Glad he's gone. <laughs> okay, Slash, who's your three? I'm taking Devontae Adams. Bro, juice is cold, bro. That's the real juice in my eyes. Other than uh, OJ, what? <laughs> the one that ran for, the one that ran for, how much was no, it? No, 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 no. Ornthorpe's the real juice. Yeah, that's the, okay, that's <laughs> what you were talking about. That's what I was like. Wait a minute. <laughs> now nah, you know they call you know they call my boy juice. They call him a killer on and off the field. That's why. That's why uh, I mess with him. Well, I don't. Yeah, that's not I'm why I mess with him. I'm saying that nigga cold. <laughs> I mess with I met Devontae Adams, James <laughs> Landry, and is there anybody else really better than Odell on that list? Understandable. So now this is the 2020 list. Okay. So that's why I said it's a little bit, you know, it's they haven't had time to make as much noise as them, but at the same time, there's still names on this list that you're going to know. So the 2020 NFL receiver list. Jerry Judy. Yeah. C.D. Yeah. Lamb. 
Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins, Michael Pittman Jr. I know somebody that was just here. He would have fought for him. Um, Chase Claypool. <laughs> I don't know and why. Dave Davis. Read what list do you think is better? Read off one more time. So, well, first was better than me, but, but read that. Read it off one more time because because I'm, I'm I'm getting my top three together. Jerry Judy, C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins, Michael Pittman Jr., Chase Claypool, and Gabe Davis. That's really not a good list. It's, it's not. You don't think so? I don't, I don't think it is either. I mean, they haven't had as much time to prove themselves as the others, though. They haven't had as much time to prove themselves, but I feel like that's. I feel like this list could be collectively better than the other list. So, I feel like lo- I feel like looking at this list, though, like the first thing that's going to draw your attention is Justin Jefferson, which yeah, he's breaking yeah. out like crazy compared to the rest of them. But also, it's still only been two years, so. I also feel like T Higgins. T Higgins' name is a big draw on this list. T. Higgins, yeah, yeah. But, and C.D. Lamb would it, be the other one for me. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson, T. Higgins on my list as yeah. well. But if you're doing, uh, that, it, doing three of these three, I don't know. It's not better than the Juice and Devontae Adams, though. Like, <laughs> like, like, come on. No, uh, it, it's it's not. All right. So my, my so my, okay. So so like my thing is here. My, my point would be okay. So from the 2014 class, who would be y'all's top one on that list? Then? Would it be the Devonte Adams. Adams? Okay, so Devonte Adams. So then, from the 2020 list, Justin, the Devonte Adams, Jefferson. Would be Justin Jefferson. <laughs> but Justin <laughs> Jefferson is starting off better than Devonte Adams' career started off in Green Bay. Yeah, I'd put Jefferson. Yeah. About to say so, like this list, their number one is, is this because he's a Minnesota. Is, it, is this because he's a Minnesota? Is this where you're going with this? Well, no, I hate Minnesota because I had to watch the Bills lose to them. It's the start of the career is what I'm saying. (laughs) The start of Devontae Adams' career was nowhere near the start of Justin Jefferson's career right now. I mean, I think – well, that's probably like the luck of the draw, though, don't you think? What do you mean? Devontae Adams was drafted to Green Bay to be the number one receiver, be something special, whatever, and – now you know about to say he ended up leaving. He had we'll oh, see what he turned out to be, but you see what Justin Jefferson is already. So are we gonna say that are we gonna or so are we saying that Justin Jefferson is gonna have a better career than Devontae Adams? I'm just saying the list as a collective as the list, who do you think if we was comparing lists, like I said, 2014, 2020, Devontae Adams would be their one on 2020's list, Justin Jefferson would be their one on 2014's list. Number two would be who? Mike Evans? Yeah, either Mike Evans or Odell. Mike Evans or Odell. Mike Evans, okay, so then I'm saying T. Higgins. T. Higgins is having maybe not as successful as Mike Evans starting off because Mike Evans has been, like, one of the most consistent receivers in the league. But I feel like T. Well, Higgins is well, also being a consistent receiver and being great in his own right. I think he's stepping up to the plate, though. The thing, between these, two the lists, though, the thing with, between these two lists, though, is that – there's the top three for the 2020, right? But in the right. top three in the 2014, it continues to go through. Like, you actually have to, like, struggle to find that, you know, third person in the 2014. But it goes on. I mean, you can pick six wide receivers out of that class, which are great. Where the 2021, I mean, it really just stops after the top three. Like, they're all yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. No, they're I agree. Not I, agree. Great. I agree. I feel you. I like, understand Gabe, what you're Gabe saying. Gabe Davis was great last year. But this year, he's he's horrible. Like, I mean, he would have been in the top three if we talked about this last year, but this year, who, absolutely. Who not. you talking about? Gabe, Gabe Davis. Davis. I like that. I really forgot. I forgot the nigga played. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Exactly. About exactly. This, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. And let me see. Let me see. I said I wasn't ready for that uh, little transaction. Okay. Um. You want to run an ad? You run an ad for me. All right. <laughs> you got one. Yep. Say, because I don't know where I want to go. Okay. What I missed, though? Let's just re- refill, like, fill me in. We were talking about the 2014 NFL draft receivers. So I'll read you the list, Tim. That's what we'll go with it. Tim, so give me a top three from this 2014 list, okay? Top, top three. three. Top three. Okay. 
Sammy Watkins, Mike Evans, Odell Beckham, Brandon Cooks, Devontae Adams, Allen Robinson, Jarvis Landry. Oh, I forgot about Allen Robinson. Um, I'm going to go easily number one is Devontae Adams. There's no debate in that. I think we got to go Mike Evans at two. I think we have to. Um, I mean, Jarvis was cold for a while, though. Told you. So I, told you. I feel like we might have to throw him at three. I mean, Gabe, uh, Gabe Davis, I mean, I feel like if he was in a different system, he'd be up there more. He wasn't on that list. Gabe wasn't Who on that Gabe list. Who is Gabe Davis? Davis. <laughs> <laughs> that, Bills list. that list was, this is 2014, so hold on. Oh, I thought, I, thought, I thought I heard someone say Gabe Davis. We was talking about him, but he's on the next list. He wasn't okay, on the list. You got to give me a whole list again. I'm going Jarvis Landry third. Yeah. It's Sammy Watkins, Mike Evans, Odell, Brandon Cooks, Devontae, Ooh, Adam no, no, Robinson. I'm going Odell Davis. third. I'm sorry. I'm going Odell third. Okay, so that was the 2014 list. Now, the 2020 list is Jerry Judy, CeeDee Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk, T. Higgins, Michael Pittman Jr., Chase Claypool, and Gabe Davis. Give me your three. Better not. Um, mm-hmm. My three would have to be Justin Jefferson first. That's unarguable. Um, uh, two, um, read the list again. Jerry Judy, CD uh, Lamb, Justin, maybe. Brandon Ayuk, T Higgins, Michael Pittman Jr., Chase Claypool, and Gabe Davis. I'm going to go T Higgins too. Um, three, it would have to be Gabe Davis or Michael Pittman Jr. Um, no, I'm not being biased with Michael Pittman. Check his numbers, bro. I, I, I didn't say I that. I was laughing, but check his numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd have to compare the two. I don't know who, whose stats are better out of them, but I will say Gabe Davis by eye test looks like a better receiver. Um, who is Gabe Davis? <laughs> Hey, name that. Well, I who is Gabe Davis. I'm kind of offended you don't know who Gabe Davis is. Bro, I haven't heard that name in so long, bro. That's what you mean. He drops most of his passes, though. <coughs> I don't know about all that. He said, I'll see every week. You're a fan, so you're right. You, you, would, you would know more than me. Um, he, like I was saying earlier, he was phenomenal at the end of last year, but this he's year phenomenal. he's been uh, yeah, absolutely he had phenomenal games this game. He was also this year, he was also hurt. When was he hurt? Gabe Davis. Uh, I have him on my fantasy. He was oh. hurt, he missed like a game or two. Yeah, he, he did miss a few games. So I got I got him on my fantasy. Yeah, but then he came year. right back. I think he had an 18 point game, then a 30 point game. Then I traded him for JT. I was like, he, he wasn't too bad. But- yeah, I mean he's not horrible, but it, he, he's not he horrible. Ca- but he catches hail marys like that. Well, I mean that's all he's catching. I mean he's a second option. I feel like Gabe Davis could easily be a number. I feel like if you if you bring Gabe Davis to the Ravens, that's their number one receiver, hands down. And he look and he's looking phenomenal. I feel like if you give the Colts Gabe Davis, he he's our number one receiver. I test he looks better than Pittman. I don't know if he's better than Pittman by stat wise, statistically, but also he's the number two guy in that system. Well, s- since we was talking about Gabe Davis being hurt and on our fantasy teams, I'm gonna give y'all an update on the unbiased fantasy league ranking this week. Let's um, go. The overall rankings right now we have Finesse Squad. That's Kelly. He's in first place, ten and two. Second place we have Iron City. That's Kayon. He's nine and three. Third place we got the Rancho Cucamonga Cracker Killers. That's Demon. <laughs> He that's sits so at seven and five right now, <laughs> and then the fourth place team, the one that's up for grabs and everybody's fighting for right now, is the East Columbus Outlaws, which is Mister Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that's not my name. We, hey, we oh, Mister Yeah, Nino. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said, Mister Yeah, I know. I yeah, know I can't. You know, I can't read. About to say, but then just sitting outside in fifth place and sixth place, you got. I'm biased, you know me, right there, sitting at six and six, scratching and clawing, trying to get into the back end of the playoffs. And we got, mm, you know, I like saying this one, Kenny. About to say he's sitting at <laughs> six and six, too. And I think his name is Tyler. So, you know, we're trying to uh, – we're fighting to get in there. 
Not up entirely. They're fighting to get there, but that's just an update for your uh, fantasy, uh, the unbiased fantasy league. So I got one more question for y'all before we get to the uh, the Who Am I segment for the day. So, hey, who Rashad is White, the biggest? Hold on. Sorry, oh, go ahead, sorry. Slash. Go is ahead. Rashad White starting today? Rashid White? Yeah, Rashid White for the Tampa Bay. I, is Leonard I playing or not? Is he is he playing today over uh that's what I'm saying? Is Leonard playing? If Leonard playing, I don't think he's starting. But if Leonard not playing, then probably he probably starting. I mean he gets carries, but go ahead. Okay. Okay, so who do you consider a bigger bus? I'm a, I'm gonna ask Joe first. Joe. I'm gonna read you some stats and I want you to tell me who the bigger bus was. We got Jamarcus Russell. On his career, he had a 52.1 completion ratio. He had 4,800. He had 4,083 passing yards. He had an 18 to 23 touchdown ratio and a career passer rating of 65.2 over two years. That's one A. One B is Ryan Leaf. <laughs> he played from 1998 to 2001. On his career, he had, nigga. huh? Forgot about that nigga. On his career, he had a 48.4 completion ratio, 14 to 36 in touchdown to interception ratio. He had 3,666 passing yards and a passer rating of 50%. Who's the bigger bust? Leaf. Hands down. Leaf. Hands down. By the way, that's what I'm about to say, because everybody always wants to, you know, just talk about Jamarcus Russell. And it came to mind because I was watching another show, whatever. They had both those quarterbacks on there to talk. And Jamarcus said, if you're going to consider me a bust, put the biggest in front of it. And Ryan Leaf had an argument for it because he wanted to be considered the bigger bust. So yeah, why yeah. you want to be that? <laughs> why you want to be the biggest disappointment? Because I'm trying to be relevant. Because it's, I mean, because it's still like they're still competitive. Hi, Tim. How you doing? So they're still I, I competitive. I, I know. I'm going to let you talk. About to say, about to say, but he they was competitive and they're so competitive to the point that one of them still wants to be considered the biggest bust. So who I wish, do you I think wish Kwame Brown had this same energy? I, I do think statistically Ryan Leaf is the bigger bust. That's not a question because uh Demarcus Rogers really wasn't that bad. He just had a weight problem, you know. And that, it wasn't that bad. No, he wasn't. He, he really wasn't. Um he Tim. really wasn't. Tim. Tim. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you this. If he would have stayed healthy, do you think he would have you think he would have had a longer career? Who? Demarcus Russell. I don't think he really got hurt. No, I don't I think he stayed healthy as far as like his body, his diet, and stuff like that. That's his something that's been great control. on the practice squad, probably. That's something that you can control. <laughs> that is. That, that that's the Eddie Lacey thing. Eddie Lacey's considered a bust. He was but his Eddie Lacey, got him out of the league. We got him out of the league. He, he liked donuts. I like donuts, too. You know, we all like donuts. I don't you like going to the point where you're million dollars for it. I'm not getting paid millions. He is. I, uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't but, get it. I don't think Eddie Lacy could be considered a – but, like, I always think a bust is considered a first-round draft pick who has those high expectations. Yeah. And that's, that's what a bust that was, is. That was my me. point before, before, I, before Sledge interrupted me. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> he came into the league with the high, high expectations. Higher expectations than Ryan Lee. So well, the sucks. <laughs> he sucks, bro. There's there's no he threw for four thousand yards in two years. That's not that bad. And especially he came in a time where like the league was just shifting to pass first. It was still oh, a running league. So now we're me. making excuses for this nigga sucking. I'm not making excuses for right. him. So that wasn't I'm not making excuses for him. So but, Sledge. Sledge, who who's the bigger bust then? Is it Jamarcus Russell or Ryan Leaf? No, Ryan Leaf is is the biggest bust, but we're not going to sit here and downplay Jamarcus Russell's bustiness. Like, 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 the fact, that even, the fact <laughs> that we're even having even a conversation on who's the biggest bust should should as a as a as a grown man, you shouldn't have take this. <laughs> That's just that's why I said that's weird to be like no I'm the bigger disappointment I'm, no I'm the bigger failure. Like, I mean, the man had a fifty. The man had a fifty two percent completion rate. That's not nigga. bad. He that's, only played twelve that's, games. That's he's connecting. Now let's look at the people around him. He he averaged six yards. His biggest issue was his his, his interceptions, bro. 
Oh yeah, it was both of their biggest issues. Yeah, wait, that's wait, a big wait, issue. Wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. That could be fixed though. <laughs> that, that's not a thing. <laughs> He's not the only quarterback to throw that. biggest issue is throwing to the wrong team. That's a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> like this you know, so I'm an Andrew Luck fan, but there was a there was a season Andrew Luck threw for like 20 plus interceptions. There was I'm a Jameis Winston fan. There was, was yeah, he went 30 for 30. I believe and Tom Brady did it. Pick. I believe you Tom know. Brady also had a season where he threw for like almost 20 interceptions. Why and are we comparing this man? To these guys, because <laughs> I'm saying they had statistically or started off statistically with bad seasons, but it's just how many games that, did Jamarcus Russell win? I have we no idea. Probably we not. don't have his winning percentage on here. Okay, no, we don't have seasons, his how stat. Many seasons did, how many seasons did Jamarcus Russell play? Two seasons. He played two seasons. He okay. had a 52 point right. one completion okay. ratio. So, so, so he played two seasons. You know what that calls to me? A bus. <laughs> We know, no, we know he's a bust. We're trying to figure out who's the biggest one because How much did Ryan Lee I think you have to, I think you still have to go with Jamarcus Russell. I think you still have to go with Jamarcus Russell just because the hype he had coming in. The nigga Ryan Lee had hype right? coming in. Ryan Lee like had more hype like than Jamarcus Russell. Not like Jamarcus Russell, he did. No, Ryan Jamarcus Lee Russell. Well, yeah, Jamarcus, think Jamarcus Russell was, Russell was different. like that dude. He was like they, he was suspected to turn the franchise around immediately from LSU. Jamarcus Russell only got big because he threw that 70-yard pass off his knees or something. They would talk about that the whole time in the little press about it. And the fact Ooh, that he was 6'6". So what? And the fact that he was 6'6", six, six, like 240, 50 pounds? I mean, but Ron Leaf is the same size. He's, what, 6'6", 6'5", 6'6", 230 like pounds. Russell? Could he run like Jamarcus Russell? Jamarcus Russell only we think he could run for one reason. But I mean, with his weight issues, I don't think Jamarcus Russell could run like Jamarcus Russell. Like, <laughs> with his weight issue, his knees was probably hurt. Yeah, he was, hurt. It probably did hurt, but he could move. He could move for a big fella. So, so then it's holding Ooh. the final decision there for the Jamarcus show. Russell. Who's the bigger bus, Kenny? Man, Jamarcus Russell could be it's, it's Leaf. It's Leaf. It's Leaf. Ryan Leaf. Jamarcus Russell couldn't move weight. All right, so can can you get the predictions up there for me, Kenny? Or like, can you put that up like you said? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me, just give me. All right, yep. Go ahead. We about to do these predictions right quick, and we're gonna get into who am I, and we're gonna wrap this up so we can go ahead and watch some of these games. Watch some football. I am rooting for the Thank Cowboys you, today. Why? You just ready to turn on your team, huh? Yeah, just for the, for just for the next today? two seasons. Cause I want us to get. Uh, honestly, I do like the dude from Florida, though the quarterback from Florida. But I want us to get Bryce Young. But I, if we don't get Bryce Young, I want the quarterback from Florida. But I, don't deserve I, a good I also want us to suck next year because I want Marvin Harrison. Y'all really don't deserve so a good quarterback. You say that right now, Tim, that all offseason you're going to talk about how good y'all going to be and how y'all going to do this and how y'all going to do that, and then y'all going to come in, and then your attitude's going to no, change. No, I, I, I really only brag on our defense, and I did have faith in Matt Ryan, though. I will say that. When y'all said I had faith in wins, I'm like, y'all lie because I, I was mad when we made that trade. Um, that's why I, I don't know who brought that up. I just posted that picture when he threw that like 67 yard bomb to T.Y. Hilton. I'm like, dang, what's that? I remember. Okay. That was all I said about Wentz, and y'all said I, I bragged about him. I ain't bragged nothing about Wentz because I didn't like Wentz and with the Eagles. I, I called him Tony Romo 2.0. Tony I don't Romo. Tony Romo. I don't even know if he's as good as Tony Romo. You ready? Yeah, I remember, I remember we did that. All right, so then we have the first matchup of the day. Got the Vikings versus the Jets. J E T S Jets Jets Jets. It's Jets. Not us at. I'm going Jets. Joe, the Vikings are looking good, but I'm I I think the Jets are going to disappoint them today. Yeah, this is my upset. I got Jets. Kenny, J E. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going Vikings. So I'm I'm going Jets. Yeah, yeah, Joe said the Jets. My fault, my fault. You spelled Jets wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you got a K in there for some reason. No worry, he got his education from Bishop Sycamore. I'm going to go. Ooh. I'm going to go. I'm looking forward to that documentary. I'm going to go. I am too. Sledge one with the Jets too, Kenny. I didn't hear him say that. Okay, I got you. Because you're not listening. I'm going to go. Did I not pick Mike if I said Jets? <laughs> I'm going to go with the Vikings. Kenny ain't listening. I picked Jets. Oh, yeah. Tim picked the Jets as well. 
Yeah, that's what he said, All right, I got you. All right, so look, when yeah, I say this, took over. You when I say this, I'm going to call y'all's name, and then I want y'all to give the answer, okay? There we go. That's All my right. bad. Broncos versus Ravens. Tim. Ravens. Sledge. Broncos versus Ravens. Yep. Can I get an extra point if I could predict the ball out? Ravens. Why? It's going to happen. Ravens. <laughs> Joe. Ravens. Kenny. Ravens. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Ravens as well. So well, you know who is unbiased. They are not riding today. Oh, Kenny. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, he's a Broncos. They ain't rolled since week one. Sorry. If I say um the Texans <laughs> versus the Browns. They rolled better last year. Tim. You said Texans versus the Browns? Yes, sir. Oh, Browns, the Sean Watson revenge game. Let's get it. Is he starting for sure? For yeah. sure. Yeah, he's he's gonna start. That's why the people there, they they they, they ain't come to see him sit on the bench. They came to cheer too. They came to boo. Uh, yeah, sledge. I'm gonna go Browns. Joe. I feel like this one's hard because I feel like the Texans at this point just have to keep losing if they want that pick. <laughs> but <laughs> I but want I, them to win. Right, but I feel like I feel like they want to win this week against Deshaun. So I, I'm going Texans. I like that. Kenny. Um, I'm going Browns as well. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna say the Browns too. I'm gonna be smart. Hey, who won last week? You didn't say. Well, yeah, we was just trying to get by that. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Commanders versus the Giants. Tim. Giants. Slay. Bro, the Giants is on a three-game losing streak, bro. They're not going to lose three games. They're not going to go four. I'm going Giants. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. I'm going Washington. Kenny. I'm going uh, Commanders. I'm going Commanders. Yeah, I'm going to go with them, too, for Commanders. I just don't think – I just don't – I just don't think they'll lose four games in a row. Like, come on, Giants. You're not going to go back to that, are you? They might. Right. <laughs> we got the Jaguars versus the Lions. Tim. That's a toss-up game right here, baby. They both they both want to lose for the, uh, the better pick. That's sad but, that like the, that the world is coming to this. But I'm going to say the Jaguars offense is really dang, but the Lions defense is in bad line. I'm gonna go with the Lions. I'm gonna take the Lions over the Jazz because they they competing right now. They're trying to get a lower pick too. They know their season's over. It's like the, the like the only so, ones in the AFC South with season's not over is the Titans. Mm. They we competing for a bad for a pick now. Sledge. Hey, listen. Did the Lions lose last week? Yeah, I think they did. I think they won last week for real. They, they won last week. They won last week. Lions won last week. week. I'm gonna go Lions, bro, because they're not a they're not a bad. No, team. no, the Lions lost to the Bills. It was Thanksgiving. They lost. No, I'm about to say no. Nah, I could have swore they lost because Stephon yeah. Diggs went, went off on them, but I could be wrong. But the Lions are not a bad team, though. They're just they're no, they're bad. not. They need a quarterback. They're not a bad. They're not a bad coach either. So I'm gonna go Lions. Joe, they need to do exactly what the Rams like did. Throw different. Throw uh Jared Goff away. Here we go. This is just a little better. Doing this one instead. Looks a little cleaner. It does. Uh-huh. It wasn't working for me at first. I didn't need the notepad. Okay, wait. Let me get let me get sledge. You can also do doing? Control C and copy. Uh, control P and Control C and copy it. Or I think it's Control C, Control Z. Not for that though. You Microsoft? Huh? I said, there, You Microsoft? I mean, I know how to use it. I mean, I am in these Bill Gates. Are you in school for this? All you gotta do is click on it and click Control C, and then go to where you want to pick and pick Control V. No, no, I know hey. that. I'm saying that's the way it's going right now because the way I typed it, it's not gonna work like that. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying, though. All right, so yeah, Joe, Lions or Jaguars? I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Lions. I feel like their offense is gonna pop off again. <laughs> Bro, they're they're, all, they get bro, they're not a bad team. Their whole team just, is good. They just need a quarterback. 
And they're about to grab one. Kenny. Yeah, golf is garbage. I'm also going to offense and defense is okay. good. Just wanted to get that. Oh, in a red. Hey, who'd you say? I, what's their record, too? I think they have a record, right? No. Yeah, man. they're 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 both. All right, so we good now. Oh, they're both four seven. All right. Packers, mm-hmm. Bears. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. Um, I'm going to go. Okay, that's good. Yeah, do that for you. <laughs> Is Fields hurt? I think he's still uh? playing. I think he's still playing. <laughs> Sit out, son. You have nothing to prove. I don't know if he's playing today for real. Yeah, I'm not sure. If Fields is playing, I'm going Bears. But if he don't, put that yeah. there. Yeah, he's playing today. All right, go Bears. Did the Packers win last week? If they week? lose, I'm going to be calling Mr. Davis. Sledge. Did the Packers lose last week? Yeah. Yeah, they lost. Damn. We'll go Bears. It's sad seeing Aaron Rodgers out like this, though. Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears, so I- I'm going Packers. Hey, he did say that. <laughs> that's the only game he wants, and to that's win. why. And that's why they. That's why they going to try to take his head off. Why they got the chance? I'm gonna go with the Packers as well. I like that point. <laughs> that's all I need. Yep. All right, hey, Steelers. Bro, if a grown man does say he owns you, bro. You better back it up. <laughs> Steelers, Falcons, <laughs> town. Oh God. <laughs> Falcons, Steelers played too good last week. Oh, Wait, hold on. What's their record? Who? Uh, Steelers. Four and seven. Nah, give me the Steelers because Mike Tomlin ain't gonna have that losing season. Give me the Steelers. Sled. Yo, you got Steelers and who else? I'm sorry. The Falcons. Falcons. Well, who won last week out of them two? Steelers beat the Colts. Falcons. I think Falcons won too. Let's go Falcons. Let's go Falcons. Okay. Joe. I think I'm going to go the Steelers on this one. Kenny. I'm going to go with the Falcons. I'm going to go with the Falcons too, for real. So I think they might. Have a little bit of juice today. We got Eagles, Titans. Mm. Kenny, since you're on your name right there. Kenny, Eagles, Falcons. Okay. Going Eagles. Eagles, Titans. My bad. Joe. I think the Titans are giving them their second loss today. Oh, hell no. No, no I Come agree. On, they have been struggling yeah. to stop the run for the last three weeks. I Titans. Think, yeah, I yes. think no, the is Eagles. Popping off. I'm going, I'm going Titans. The, the last three weeks they have been struggling to stop the run. I'm going Titans, I'm too. I'm definitely going Eagles now. Hey, shout out to um, Derrick Henry, man. Shout out to Derrick Henry. That man, Lou, he's going crazy, bro. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say the Eagles. Him and uh, him and Josh Jacobs. They going hey, up. Josh Jacobs. Where was this Josh Jacobs at when I had him in fantasy for the past two years? <laughs> yeah, I was, he's going hurt. crazy. Hurt. All right. I him away because he always hurt. Dolphins 49ers. Hey, this is going to be tough. I ain't gonna be, I'm going to go with the Tua's. <laughs> First of all, you're disrespectful. Yo. <laughs> I pray the 49ers win. So. <laughs> Tim? I'm going with that 49ers defense. Sledge. They don't you keep the Dolphins me. off the field. You already wrote me down, right? Dolphins? You know the you Dolphins? I'm going to go with the 49ers. Way. They're going to keep their offense off the field. They're going to they gonna control the clock and keep y'all's offense off the field. Bro, it, this, I, I ain't gonna beat you though. I'm really, I'm really scared. And they have a good defense to do that. They have a good defense to keep to stop y'all from scoring and keeping y'all's offense off the field. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna sit here and act like, hey, yeah, we got this for sure. Like people be on the internet, like, yeah, man, we're good. I'm like, nigga, do you know where the fuck we at? All right, Kenny, Seahawks, Rams. Uh, I'm going Seahawks. I don't trust the Rams this year. I said that all year. Hey, son, I need my phone. Turn no. this game on. Gino Smith's going all the way. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Gino been doing his thing. <laughs> he said, Gino. Tim, <laughs> you <talks> Rams. <laughs> you put in Gino. <laughs> nah, I'm going to go Rams because the Seahawks got to lose some more. They they want to pick two. Well, that's Seahawks. Seahawks. Wait a minute, ain't they? 
Yeah, Seahawks um, haven't won it. Yeah, Seahawks haven't won it this year. No, they I'm want a better pick, bro. They know they ain't going to get nowhere with Geno. I'm going Seahawks. Geno's their franchise right now. That's sad. <laughs> he is. I'm going to Seahawks as well. Okay. Okay, you think you okay. think you think she, you think they gonna you think they gonna invest in Gino? Let's be real. No, come on, he's old. Not right? a lot. They gonna invest in him, but yeah, it's, it's not gonna be fun. Him. They gonna give it about three years, probably two years. It's like a Tom Brady investment. No, I don't think they gonna do that. I don't think they gonna. I think they gonna. I think they gonna surprise y'all and try to kill him because he's looking good. I don't think they gonna do that. He gonna be gone, bro. You know how people just had that one good season, Peyton Hillis. <laughs> he had a better season than you know what we're gonna go with the Raiders and Chargers. <laughs> Kenny, Raiders, Chargers. I'm going with the Raiders. They the Raiders and Chargers both disappointed me. But Joe. I'm glad though. But I'm glad though, because they're they're not the big man. I feel like the Raiders have been pretty disappointing, but with Josh Jacobs popping off last week, I, I think I'm gonna go Raiders at this one. I think Josh Jacobs he, is gonna go again this week. He's gonna get hurt. Tim, mark my words. Give me the charger. What's the team again? Raiders charger. Oh, yeah, bro. I actually put it on the charger. Hey, now I can't watch football. Charge my phone. I got to turn it <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Sledge? What, you, what is it? Raiders chargers? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going to be a dog fight. That's nasty. I know. Let's go chargers. I'm going to go chargers as well. Kenny, Bengals versus Chiefs. Mm. So the number one QB. Chiefs. Is Joe Burrow still considered a top five QB right now? No. Is that what? No. Why okay. not? Why not? Because yeah, exactly. um, Lamar exists. Um, Josh okay, Allen right. exists. Um, okay. Tua's looking better yeah, than Holmes. him. Um, who else it. is looking better than him? Patrick Mahomes. Um Shoot. I said okay. I feel like Justin Herbert's above him too. Does Sean <laughs> Watson? No, I was getting to him. I was about to name a whole deck. I was about to say I was going to go down the list. Not Dak. Hey. I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. As, about as, that. as of right on. now, as of right now, we're talking about moving Chiefs. on. You're only as good as your last game. Oh, you Chiefs, Bengals, Kenny. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Joe, that's Chiefs. Tim, Chiefs. Sledge. Chiefs Bengals. Let's shake this up. I'm gonna go Bengals. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was gonna go with you, but now since you did that, I'm gonna go ahead and say now nah, real talk, real talk. I'm gonna still go with the Bengals. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. You got your up. night game. The night game. Colts Cowboys. Kenny. Cowboys. Yeah, I'm going Cowboys. Joe. Cowboys. No disrespect. It's the Cowboys. <laughs> Oh, ain't no disrespect, <laughs> Cowboys. I pray for a pick for you, Cowboys. Sledge, you know what? Just because bro gonna go Cowboys, I'm going fucking Colts. You are a hater. You're a hater. I pray. I pray. I, I ain't I gonna lie. One Sledge, it was gonna be me, but I go up the Cowboys now. So you always need a good upset on there. I'm trying to watch that game. Hurry up and charge my phone, son. All right, then the Monday Hurry night game, you got Spence Buccaneers, Kenny. You said who Buccaneers? Saints Buccaneers. Saints Buccaneers. Um, that's kind of a ass game. Uh, let's go with let's go with the Saints. Tom already beat the Bucs. Uh, Joe, the Saints game. Buccaneers. Is, is Brady still uh, undefeated after his uh, divorce? Nah, he lost. He lost oh, last he lost? week. I think. Oh, he's he's done for then, Saints. <laughs> he did take an L from it though. I, you know, fine. He lost to the Browns last week. Remember in overtime. Bucks, cause my boy Mike Evans gonna see Lattimore hand him. Bucks. Mm, yeah, but I said I, you can always count on the fight. Bucks. Sledge, but Saints. Hey, Bucks, hashtag Mike Evans wins the fight. Oh, bro, bro, you hey. too old for I got five more Evans. <laughs> five more Evans. <laughs> Five. You're taking bets right now. Five on Evans. All right, so Sledge, Buck Saints. I'm going to go Buck. I'm going to say – I'm going to say Bucks, too. I'm going to say Bucks, too. And then your Thursday night game, your Thursday night game. Y'all forgetting who wins the fight. Raiders, Rams. <laughs> Kenny. Raiders and Rams. Oh, God. Man, these, both these teams suck. Uh, let's go. Thursday night, too. Thursday night games are horrible recently. Yeah, I'm like, both these teams suck. Uh, let's go with – let's go with the – let's go with the Rams. Fuck it. 
Joe. Mm. I feel like at this point they're both throwing. Um, <laughs> oh, geez. You call them throwaways? The Raiders. I'm going with the Raiders as well. Sledge. Raiders. I'm going to go with the Raiders too. All right, so we're going to get to this. Who am I? I only got one for y'all. Whoever get this right, it's like you the champ of the day. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right. I came into the league in 1988. Come mm. on, TK. 88. <laughs> Set the record straight. I retired in 1999. Mm. I spent my whole career on one team in the NFC East. John Elway. I spent my whole career in the <laughs> NFC East. <laughs> <laughs> I am a receiver. Wait, wait do, we, do we have to raise our hands for this? Yeah, we got to raise our hands. Yeah, I, so I can see y'all on this one. Okay. I am a receiver. I have a first team all pro. I have two second team all pros. I'm a five time pro bowler. I led the league in receiving yards in 1991. I'm on the NFL 1990s all decade team, and I'm in my team's ring of honor. On my career, I have 750 receptions, 11,904 yards, and 65 touchdowns. I'm also a three-time Super Bowl champion. Who am I? Ooh. Hey, what ooh. division? Ooh. You didn't Sled. get that division. He said, no, he said AFC, right? I said, Sled. <laughs> I'm about to say AFC. If I'm you not. got for me, Sled. I, NFC East. <laughs> I said it about six times. <laughs> what division? <laughs> NFC, so I'm gonna go Jerry Rice. No, that's your second guess. You say he won the Super Bowl three times. Super Bowl three times. Spent my whole season. career in the NFC East as a wide receiver. NFC. Mike East. Irving. Ooh, I already raised my hand. Did you raise your hand? Yes. Play back, Tim. Play back. Michael Irving. Okay, Tim. There we go. I wasn't going to. <laughs> I didn't see it. Hey, that would have been a third. To, no, that would a fourth. Not a, Slash and Kion and Terrell. All right. So this game <laughs> ball right here. Game oh. ball of the day goes to the man who came in, oh. popped out, and came back. <laughs> All to keep yelling at his kids to charge right. his phone so he can watch the game. <laughs> Coke Irving. <laughs> Mr. Tim Seeley, a.k.a. Andrew Luck, a.k.a. Trent Richardson's biggest fan. Wow. <laughs> you got a speech wow. for us. You got a speech Whoa. for us today, Tim? Wow. I don't I did I don't think I raised my hand. I almost did it again, but hey, he gave me a chance. I appreciate it. You know. Hey, you, you know, know I try to be understanding sometimes. This you is know? the hand. This is the, this is the I, hand. I, I feel like a fourth time I would have had to I'd had to like, you know, write protest or something. Who said hand gate? About to say, yeah, we do have a lot of these yep. situations. It happened yep. to me too, so I understand the problem. It yeah, happened to me yeah, last yeah. week. That is, so. that is Tim Brady right there. He cheated. Mm, Tim <laughs> Brady. Oh, God. <laughs> Get him out of here. That's hey, your goat. goat. It is my goat. <laughs> Eddie Grill also up there too. <laughs> that nigga cheated. Oh, <laughs> <my Jesus. laughs> this has been another great episode of Unbiased. You know where to find us at on YouTube under Bad Guys Spoken. Uh, they go to a playlist. You're going to see me right there throwing up my little you and all that because you got to stay unbiased. You know, um, I like to shout out Ray. Shout out to Organic Lovin'. Shout out to all the good people on the screen you all see in front of you. And shout out to my mom. Stay unbiased.